We present our work Cabinet on scaling neural collision detection for object rearrangement with procedural scene generation. Object rearrangement in unknown cluttered environments, such as in homes and warehouses, is an important open challenge in robotic manipulation. Our approach is to generate large-scale synthetic data in clutter. We learn from over 650,000 scenes, which is multiple orders of magnitude more than prior work. We render nearly 2.5 million synthetic point clouds. From these scenes, we generate over 60 billion scene object collision queries for learning. With this large-scale data, we train our cabinet architecture. Cabinet takes in as input the partial point cloud observation of the scene shown at the left. The robot is only shown for visualization and is segmented out of the point cloud. The point cloud is then encoded into an implicit representation with 3D convolutions. This representation of the scene can then be used to predict collisions between the scene and the object. Cabinet has a very fast inference speed and is more accurate than baseline approaches. Cabinet is also used to predict robot waypoints for transitioning in the rearrangement task. Using the cabinet model, we generate robot trajectories using MPPI and execute the best trajectory on the robot for object rearrangement. More concretely, the rearrangement task entails picking a target object, shown in purple, and placing it in a specified support surface, shown in green. We assume access to prior work of 6 of grasping and instant segmentation. Our cabinet model achieves zero-shot simdural transfer on the real robot, without needing to train on any noisy point cloud data. It generalizes to completely unseen objects in cluttered environments. Here the task is to rearrange objects when shelf compartments are stacked vertically. Here the shelf compartments are stacked horizontally. We only use a single extrinsically calibrated scene camera for collision detection. We specify the target object to grasp using instant segmentation. The Caminet model also generalizes to outer distribution environments, such as the shelf and the dishwasher, in an actual IKEA kitchen setup as shown here. Here are some of our failure modes. First, occlusion can lead to collision, such as on the left, when the top of the shelf is partially occluded. We can also have collision errors when transitioning between the pick and place poses, such as in the middle. The initial grasp sometimes does not succeed, as shown on the right. Thanks for watching.